Hey everyone, Game Boy speaking for kind of a lot of gaming. Hey everyone, Josh from Kind of a Lot of Gaming here, and today we're going to be swapping out the insides of two Game Boy Advance SPs. Why are we going to do that, you might ask? Because we're bored. And there are actually two types of Game Boy Advance SPs. The first generation had a frontlit screen. They later made a second generation with a backlit screen. The backlit screen looked much better and was much brighter than the frontlit screen. The tools you'll need to do this are some sort of tri-wing Nintendo screwdriver, which you can get online in a lot of different places, and also a regular Phillips head screwdriver. You will also need a some sort of prying tool. Here we have a special edition limited NES styled SP. This has the frontlit screen, which we are going to replace because it doesn't look very good. And then here we have the regular second generation SP. It has a better screen. And just as a comparison, here is the two screens side by side on, so you can see the brightness difference. The left is the frontlit screen, the right is the backlit screen. That backlit screen is not even on the highest brightness. The first thing you're going to have to do is get these pads on the screen off. There are five Phillips screws underneath that you're going to have to take out to get at the screen. You're going to want to be careful when you're taking out these pads because the surrounding plastic is very the surrounding plastic is very soft. So if you really hit it with any sort of anything, it's going to scratch it or deform it in some way. On the bottom of the SP there are five visible case screws. Four on the four corners, one right where the cartridge goes in. There's also a case screw underneath the battery in the battery compartment. You're going to need to take all of that out before you can take off the bottom of the SP. Make sure and keep all of the screws separated because they are different sizes. And some are tri-wing and some are Phillips, so it's good to make sure you remember which one goes where. So now here we have the inside of the SP. There are three regular Phillips screws that you're going to have to take out. Once you have those screws completely out, you can take out the motherboard, but you have to be very careful because there is a ribbon cable connected to the... There's a ribbon cable connected to the screen that's fairly delicate that you don't want to break because it's not very easily replaced. On the motherboard end of the ribbon cable, there are two small switches that you push down they go down about an eighth of an inch and it completely detaches the ribbon cable from the motherboard. Right underneath where the ribbon cable goes through the case, there is another small screw. Unscrew that and it will make it a lot easier to pull the ribbon cable out through the case. And now what you're going to want to do is unscrew the screws around the screen, which will allow you to take apart the molding around the screen. Now with all the screws removed, you can take off the top of the SP and get at the screen. Now's a good time if you want to replace the glass over the LCD screen. You can peel it off. It takes a little bit of work, but it comes off fairly easily with a little bit of prying. With our replacement SP, we've also taken it apart completely, just like we did the NES version. So both are completely gutted, and we're going to swap all of the insides from one to the other. Putting it back together is about the same as taking it apart, except in reverse.
And finally, we have the completely reassembled SP with the better backlit screen in the NES Special Edition system. 150 times better, says Adam. So that was just a precursor for what we're going to be doing eventually, hopefully soon, being putting the SP screen into an original Game Boy Advance. Quite a bit more complicated, I'm assuming. Haven't actually looked into it too much, but that's what we're going to be doing. So it should be pretty cool. So make sure and watch out for that. See ya!